Bell Helicopter is busy developing their next generation V-280 Valor tilt rotor aircraft, which is the planned successor to the V-22 Osprey. One of the most recognizable exterior developments is that the engines no longer rotate on the V-280. Only the gearboxes and prop rotors rotate. This simplifies the design considerably for an aircraft that combines the operational flexibility of a helicopter with the speed of a fixed wing model. Once you peer inside the aircraft, you'll immediately notice that the company is experimenting with a completely new cockpit design, featuring a massive touchscreen avionics interface. What you see here is a prototype of an avionics display that we believe is 10 to 15 years out. But quite frankly, what you see today, we could do today. Uh, this imagery that's uh, provided as a backdrop to our primary flight display, that's actually from, uh, provided by optic sensors on the aircraft and uh, PDAS technology. PDAS is on F-35, so it's flying today. This, this screen behaves like a tablet. So any uh, smart tablet with those type of gestures, pinch zoom, swipe capability, we have that encoded into our display. And why do we do that? Well, we envision this cockpit being operational 10 to 15 years. And when you ask yourselves, who are the pilots going to be in that time frame? Well, they're eight years old today. So what have they grown up with? Well, they've grown up with smartphones and tablets. So this kind of interface would be highly intuitive to them. And that's what we want to implement in the design. We want to make the, uh, the ability to absorb as much information as you can, yet display it in an intuitive manner so that uh, it's, it's aiding you in the flight of this aircraft. You're not going through subsystems, subsystems to, to locate information you need. It's there when you need it, and you can simply close it out when you don't need it. Now, one thing to keep in mind, uh, this is just a digital representation of information the aircraft is already receiving. What we have here is a simulated daylight view of the world outside the aircraft as a backdrop to our primary flight displays. Now, if that becomes too evasive for the uh, pilot, if he's data saturated, he could choose to declutter down and receive the information something like this. It does not matter. It's how do you want to receive the information. Now, you can add some fidelity and perhaps add synthetic vision as a backdrop to your primary flight displays. Or if you're uh, flying at night, and you want your optics to provide a low light amplification as a backdrop for additional situational awareness, we could do that. And again, you could have your imager provide you a thermal image or a fused solution that uh, combines low light amplification and mid-wave IR or even a synthetic vision. One thing that comes up a lot is screen durability and I'm going to emulate what happens to the screen if it uh, takes damage. We envision the screen to be constructed of a series of tiles like this. So a tile here, tile here, tile here, uh, which sits together a mosaic type image. And the reason why you do that is for survivability. So what we'll do is we'll emulate some ballistic impact to the screen. You'll see what happens. You don't take one round, the whole screen goes black, propagates the rest of the screen. So what happens if you take a ballistic impact? Well, by and large, not much. 95% of the screen is still intact and the system was smart enough to pull information out of that damaged area and being a touch screen it won't allow me to pull it back in so we don't want uh, critical information to be hidden behind a damaged tile and not be able to access that. The idea is when this aircraft lands the maintainer will just go back behind this panel take this tile out, throw away, get a new one from inventory, plug it back in the screen is fully operational again. So that is where we feel we're headed in the next uh, 10 to 15 years. We're very excited about this project. We're beginning the discussions. Is it perfect now? No. But we want to generate the discussion and help us evolve this over time, help our programmers program it to be more robust, more reliable, so that when it does become operational, it uh, helps this aircraft, the V-280, be the future vertical lift for the Army and aviation as a whole.